Every day, 12.5 million people take to the sky. Many of them cross international borders, and every passenger comes with multiple pieces of personal data, which airlines have to process and transmit to facilitate that journey. Some pieces of data are compulsory. For example, many governments require passenger name record, called PNR, and advanced passenger information, called API, which can be used to fight terrorism and serious crime. API data is taken from passports, while PNR data is taken from information collected by the airline or travel agent when tickets are booked. This includes the passenger's full name and itinerary, a phone number, and email. In addition, airlines may collect other data, such as credit card details, frequent flyer numbers, meal preferences, and hotel bookings and car hire. Here's an example of why all this data becomes a complex chain for airlines to manage. Mrs. Johnson has booked a flight for her son Casper on Alpha Airlines. He's flying from Washington, D.C. to Singapore. Alpha Airlines doesn't fly to Singapore, but it does have an interline deal with Omega Airlines, who fly there from Paris. So Casper is flying from Washington to Paris, then switching to Omega Airlines to make the next stage of the journey. Alpha has taken Mrs. Johnson's details as the booker of the flight and Casper's data as the passenger and transmitted them to the American government to the French government, to the Singapore government, and to Omega Airlines. In addition, Casper requires airport assistance, as he is a passenger with reduced mobility. This means that Alpha Airlines must transfer that information to Paris CDG Airport, who provide wheelchair services. And Omega Airlines must make sure Singapore Airport is aware. His return flight requires all this information in reverse. As you can see, the amount of separate data transfers involved with just one passenger journey is already extensive. Airlines work hard to ensure compliance with the complex patchwork of data protection laws, but different governments have different rules for handling data. In fact, over 140 countries have some form of data protection law in place. The EU GDPR regulation, for example, is different to the regulations in Canada, China, or the US. These laws may apply outside of the country and overlap or conflict with laws in other countries. In fact, multiple different laws may apply to the same journey, causing compliance challenges and confusion for airlines and for passengers. This complication makes the chances of error higher and could restrict the potential of personalized options and self-management for travelers. For these reasons, airlines are pushing for data protection laws to recognize the specific challenges that airlines face, particularly when transferring data between states. The International Civil Aviation Organization has recognized this is an issue. It has agreed to consider the challenges and options with a view to potentially developing aviation-informed guidance materials. The goal is simple. Maintain the highest levels of personal data protection while facilitating the development of efficient and convenient connectivity.